I was doing an explainer video for a client and there was an animation I needed to do that would require a lot of keyframes to do that. So I was thinking there's a way I can go around it and automate some of it so that I can just create some few keyframes and all other things will follow. And I found a way to use ChatGPT and After Effects to automate those things. Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects tutorials. And today I want to show you how I automated some animation process in Adobe After Effects using ChatGPT. I was doing a UI animation in that explainer video. I was looking for a way to animate the mouse cursor into a hand when it wants to click and return to the pointer after it clicks. So to do that, I will need to animate two layers, opacity, scale, and position at the same time at every time it clicks for the two layer. And that is a lot of time for me. So I head on to ChatGPT. And I said, I need an after effect expression that will make a layer opacity drop to zero if scale value is less than 100 and opacity to 100 if scale value is 100. And ChatGPT Walla gave me the expression code. This is a JavaScript. It did not only give me the JavaScript to enter in my layer, it also gave me a guide on how to use this expression right inside After Effects. How amazing that could be. Then I head on to After Effects, I enter the expression, voila, and this is working. So again, I needed another expression. So I head on to chat GPT again, and I type in, I need an After Effects expression that will make a layer opacity 100 if the scale value of the parent layer is less than 100 and opacity to zero if the parent layer scale value is 100. So sometimes you have to be specific with these uh, queries and voila, it gave me an expression again. Let's go to After Effects and I enter the expression and then parented this layer to the first layer. So each time now I scale down this, the other, one will disappear while the other one will reappear. So each time I click, everything becomes automated. So instead of using about 30 to 40 keyframes in every time I click, I now ended up having some few keyframes less than 10 to do this animation. So that is it guys. This is how I found a way to automate my animation process right inside After Effects using ChatGPT guide. So you can find the codes here. This code can be very useful to you. So follow the link in the uh, description. You have the full chat I have with ChatGPT included, also the JavaScript and the expression in the description below. Go ahead and use it and explore more. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.